Hey fellow world dwellers, it's Angry Turtle and today I finally have resources. I'm rich enough on my melee character to get myself a torn armor set and be able to test it because after one wasteland I wasn't testing too much and my melee guy never had it because it was never really worth it before. Let's see how it is now, but first we need to have this set and I'm going after it. You can treat this video as a tutorial how to get one if you want one and how much it actually costs. It is the most expensive armor in the game. And I know there is a solar armor, but solar armor is not more expensive. It's just exactly as expensive as a torn armor. And before I start, I want to say thank you to all of you that subscribe, like over 400 of you, after I asked what I can do to make my channel worth your subscription. There was not too many suggestions, there was a couple nice ones, and thanks for those. And some really hilarious ones. Uh, I will show you my favorite from Mr. AP that said, I would subscribe if you do something productive, not playing games, thank you. And it's an awesome suggestion, although I don't know how it will be implemented on a gaming channel. Then this will be a hard one. But thanks for the suggestion anyway. Therefore, first, we need plans for this armor and we are buying those plans from Vault 79. Let's jump in and spend insane amount of gold bullion. And I was motivated to finally play a little bit more on my melee character and earn myself this armor uh, thanks to the guy Elmer Fad that was asking about this effect and fast attacking weapons and I was only able to initially test it on my other character on my commando and that's not perfect for melee weapons therefore you can see here that's costly we need torn armor chest piece 1k Tor armor, left arm 750, left leg 750, right arm 750, and right leg 750, that's 4k gold bullion in total. That's not a cheap stuff. Luckily, we do not need gold bullion for modifications. Although, that doesn't mean they're day cheaper. We'll go to the modifications later. First, we learn the plans and we go crafting and we'll craft it at the Rusty Peak because it's the place when we buy legendary modules and vault steel scrap that's needed for crafting. And I already bought all those ingredients, but you can see legendary modules are here, cost 50, and I already bought steel. Unfortunately, the problem with Vault 94 steel is that you can buy only five at a time. You can see legendary modules, you can buy 10, but vault steel only five at a time. What's well, really not good. Every five you need to server hop. But we already have those ingredients. Before we start crafting, very important, we need a perk. You need this perk, armorer, and it needs to be rank two, because rank two make it that armor crafting cost fewer materials. And that include vault steel, that is insanely expensive, then it's a must have for this crafting. And now we go into armor workbench. We scroll down and there it is, Vault 94 armor. We have all the pieces, as you can see, one legendary module and 10 Vault Steel required. I managed to get 270 Vault Steel, what means that I was shopping at Merma 54 times. Uh, I was actually shopping for Vault Steel every time I was playing on this character, rather than do 54 server hops as this is crazy stuff in here. Then we have enough for 27 pieces in total. Let's see what can we get. And we start with one of each. Don't forget, you need to choose level 50 here. It's tricky because they allow you to craft level 40 for who knows what reason. And this is the end game armor. And good thing about it is, it's always free star. It's guaranteed to be free star. All right, we got Auto Steam, Exterminators, Ghoul Slayers, and Nocturnal. That is all bad. Okay, I will try crafting, and I will show you what will be the final result. 
and unfortunately after a lot of crafting the best pieces will be like this cavalier that was actually a good roll i don't know if i will ever use it because that's for pvp and what i will use is this life-saving left arm with ap refresh life-saving right leg with radiation resistance mutant slayers chest piece with strength and less damage while blocking on top of that two pieces with troubleshooter this one with poison resistance and this one with with plus one luck what's really bad but yeah that's the best i could get not a single unyielding and i did even try to serve a hope but nope not the better luck. That, that's the best set I can have at this moment. And it will take a while to upgrade it because as you know, yeah, every single craft that's a legendary module and 10 volt steel, what's meant 200 script needed to craft one piece. Okay, now we want to upgrade this armor with some modifications. Therefore, we need to visit Enclave. And inside we need to visit military wing and go up to the command center. And for the shopping, make sure your charisma is as high as possible, hard bargain, and whatever is required is there, because those mods are expensive. With maximum discount, the most expensive one still cost you 1300 caps. And now I have mods installed. My choice was every single main mod polymer to increase the resistance, and I'm not sneaking, I don't need shadow at this moment, uh, for arms, it's both arms with brawling for legs both legs with ultralight and for chest piece it's pneumatic to shorten the staggers and now if i equip it in exchange of my secret service armor let's see how my resistance will change unfortunately it will drop but let's hope it will be still good my resistance now 619 544 312 and now my resistance 557 25 poison 422 and 40. i lost mainly a lot of radiation resistance and i lost a little bit of those but i will live with that a little bit sad to lose all this radiation resistance but yeah we'll see if it's worth it i will be testing the set and we'll see if this will be worth it i spent a lot like insane amount of resources to craft this stuff and not even a single unyielding that that was a huge disappointment for me but let's see if this extra legendary effect for the set will hold on and if this will let me use my drill as a main weapon we'll see and now as always thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next one